my beautiful star seeds, light workers, soul family, soul tribe family, friends. I hope that you're all doing well. Uh, so I'm coming to you with uh, your uh, weekly readings. This is Sandy. For those of you that do not know and those of you that do, you know that Sandy is a very lovable <laughs> doggy. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, She's the sweetest thing ever and she's usually always in my videos. Maybe sometimes you hear her snoring or playing in the background and a lot of you uh, wanted to see Sandy all the time. So here she is for you. Uh, Ray, of course, uh, it's impossible for him to come into my readings with Sandy because Sandy is very territorial if in, uh, in the, on the bed. So <laughs> there's no way that uh, Ray could... Uh, but I will bring Ray one day to show all of you who Ray is. Okay? So um, again, she sends you... She, she will be sending all, uh, all your love uh, to everybody. You just send all your love to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that, with kisses. <laughs> so let me put Sandy back so that she could rest. And uh, so let's get started. So, be, you know, uh, before I even do the readings, I do, I have, I have the singing bowl here. And uh, we're going to, of course, uh, you know, do a mini meditation before we go through the readings, okay? So I'm going to clear my energy and space. I'll do the same thing for you. I'll also clear the breeze off your aura as well, okay, while I'm, while I'm doing this. Um, I will also infuse, uh, for all of you that want to embrace it, uh, uh, fusion of light, emerald and pink through your chakras and after, of course i'm also going to invoke archangel michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective as well and then archangel uh, gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective uh, with the intentions you could put on your own intentions while i ring the bowl and um of course i'm going to invoke you know my higher self my innate uh, universe holy spirit mother gaia to be here i will invoke of course my archangels, angels, my spirit guides, and of course, uh, last but not least, my ancestors to be here. Okay, so uh, that this is going to be protected as well. So let's get started. Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space, and for you as well. Okay, so now take a deep breath in, and release. the debris as well a gentle touch of debris releasing the debris around the aura next I will infuse emerald light and pink light through your chakras starting from the crown third eye throat chakra the heart chakra the solar plexus the sacral and the root and then we're gonna go upwards from the root to the sacral, to the solar plexus, to the heart chakra, to the throat chakra, the third eye, and the crown. Take a nice deep breath in, and hold, and release. Asking Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life. If there is stagnation, not movement, something that you've been desiring, wanting for such a long time, are invoking Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life, in your situation. Take a deep breath in. Also for Arch invoking Archangel Michael for a breakthrough on the collective. Set your intentions if you like. Take a deep breath in. And release. And last but not least, we're going to invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective, of the planet, with unconditional love, peace, kindness, compassion, 
returning to good health, unity, laughter, joy, abundance, protection, and so it is. Beautiful. I'll put this on the side for now. Let's just take two seconds here. So my mom, Giovannina, and myself, we are sending you prayers, of course, light and love, peace and protection. I hope you feel us through our hugs, through the heart chakra. My mom loves all of you very much, and she will continue to pray and do her healing modalities three times a day for here on YouTube and, of course, on The Collective. And now, let's get started with your reading. See you in a bit. Hi, Leo, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 2nd to August 8th. 2021. Anyways, I just want to wish all of you Leos out there a very happy birthday. I wish you all the best. I hope that all your dreams and desires come true and that, uh, you know, and that uh, you have a fantastic day on your birthday. Uh, so before we get started with your reading, I do have some uh, channeled messages that I would like to give to you because I know that I'm going to forget them uh, once I get started into the reading. So, um, uh, I feel that at this time, or maybe right before your birthdays, or around this time, could be a lot of you would like to, are going to be like um, wanting to stay at home. Or this was in the recent past, okay? Meaning that you wanted to be in your own sanctuary, in your own home. Um, you know, wanted to get away from all the the things or the people or situations around you. A lot of you have been feeling that. Now, remember this will now resonate with all of you but for some of you there's a message in here for some of you and spirit is saying that you are also cleaning up okay or maybe you're cleaning out uh, doing a spring cleaning or you're cleaning out uh, thought patterns and how you used to see things before or also people or situations out of your life completely and there is something that's coming towards you okay that is faded it's destined and so spirit says that when it's destined and faded to come towards you nothing and nobody could take that away from you OK, there's nobody that could stop that from coming in. So uh, just to look forward to, uh, you know, uh, something that's in your destiny and it's something that's faded, that's coming towards you. And this is exactly what you're doing. You know, and maybe some of you don't even realize that, you know, maybe by, I don't know, uh, making room for something new in your life or someone new in your life. OK, but this is what spirit is saying. And now let's get started with your reading. OK, so we're going to look at your affirmation. OK, and uh, see what's taking place for you okay let's see your affirmation for the uh, for the week from august 2nd to the 8th you got humor humor and your affirmation is i choose to focus on the lighter side of life I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And so it is. Now we're going to look at your animal totem and uh, what Archangel is with you this week. And also, what is the message that they want to deliver to you? Okay, you have a few here. We're going to take a look at them together. You got three. So the first one you got is wolf. Okay, so your animal totem this week is the wolf. And this is Archangel Zariel that's with you. And he says, be independent, but work together. Be independent, but work together. The next one you got is guinea pig. Guinea pig. Archangel Mary. And... Do your part to illuminate the universe. Do your part to eliminate, eliminate, illuminate, sorry, illuminate the universe. Guinea pig. And the next one you got is camel. 
And this is Archangel Jophiel that's with you. It says, be forbearing and patient. Yes, Leo, patient. <laughs> okay. So these are your three animal totems. If you see them this week, could be on you could see them on TV or on your computer, then you know that this is a confirmation of the reading that you're getting here. And now we're gonna look at the numbers. What angel numbers are with you? Okay. Uh, we'll see what's in store for you here, Leo. Or Leo. Not too many cards, sorry. There's too many cards. Okay, two cards. We'll see what your... Uh, okay, oh, this one is not a card. <laughs> Let's get another number here. Okay, so I guess four cards for you. So the first one is... You got number 20. You got number 20. It says here, you relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade, uh, persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. Okay, so this is number 20. The next number you got is number 25, 25. I am intelligent. I am intelligent. I am intelligent. That is your affirmation as well. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and a subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world number 25 so 2025 20, okay that's the next one and then you have number 222 two, two. i am balanced i am balanced i am balanced number 22 222 two, two. trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words feelings and action so 222 two, two. and you got 666 six, six. three sixes I am centered, I am centered, I am centered. A wake-up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. So 666. So when you see these numbers, whether you see 666, 222, 25, and 20 this week, that means that this, this reading will be a confirmation for all of you out here, okay, of the reading as well okay so now we're going to take out a card here uh what it is that you need to surrender to if you hear uh, snoring in the background it is sandy you see her she's snoring Okay, let's see what you need to be aware of. What is it that you, what is it that, no, uh, what do you need to surrender to, Leo? Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Surrender your ego. All right. So that's here. I'll put this here. Okay. Surrender your ego. And now let's get started with your reading. So this reading is for Leo Sun. And anywhere that you have Leo in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. Remember, it's a general read, so it may and may not resonate with you. So just take, uh, if, if the reading resonates, claim it. But if it doesn't and you're confused, then look at your rising. Look at the moon, which is your emotions. Venus is about love and finances. And look at your north node, which is your soul path or your purpose. In the reading, I'm going to show you your recent past. I'm going to show you your current energy, your near future, what is hidden from you, and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify for you. And whatever signs that show up in your reading, Leo, we were, we're going to do a bonus round after that, okay? So this is really good. A lot of people like that. They like the bonus round. All right. 
cards are ready. In the old overall energy, you got the three of wands. So three of wands talk in the overall energy is saying that you are feeling it, Leo. Okay, that something good is going to happen. That things are coming in for you. You're feeling it in the in the in the energy, and I also feel that you're going to be moving towards your manifestations, whatever that you've been wanting, whatever you've been manifesting. I feel that you are going towards that. Okay, in the recent past, you got the page of cups reversed, followed by the four of swords followed by the devil reversed capricorn energy saturn so saturn right now is in retrograde from may 24th to october 20 uh, october 20th 2021 okay and whatever saturn in what house it is i don't know what house it is for you leo that it falls on you should look into that okay because that you're going to see what is taking place here uh, there's some type of emotional experience that uh, really uh, you know some of you are feeling maybe emotionally um, drained in a situation it could be uh, uh something um, you know could be a friendship that you had or just uh, you're feeling like under the weather or it's uh, your inner child your, your inner child within you that needs healing here okay or it could have been an emotional experience or traumatic experience that took place in the recent past and with the four of swords here i see someone here is healing whether this is you leo or vice versa okay so someone here is in the time out okay they're, they're resting they're healing and what are they releasing they're releasing everything toxic people unhealthy relationships pot patterns addictions whatever it is here uh fears difficult moments uh there's a sense of freedom that's coming in in okay this is what spirit wants you to focus on in the current energy you got the page of swords followed by the king of wands is this the king no sorry the knight of wands and uh the moon reversed piscean energy okay well there's a new portal that's taking place at this time you're looking at things differently leo uh like as if like you're you're, you're coming out of like um feeling negative about a situation and you're thinking of it or you're looking at it in a different way so you're even your the way you're speaking is different okay communication here it's about new ideas that are taking place there could be some type of online message coming in for some of you here and there's definitely someone that's thinking about you okay uh and with the knight of wands energy i see that there's action taking place there's some type of action here in the current energy that's taking place here for you okay some of you like are you know, you want to, some of you maybe because you want to go out there, you want to have fun, okay? Do you want to be adventurous? There is this type of energy around you. And with the moon reversed here, Pisces, this is Neptune and energy. This is about releasing the fears, okay? And a lot of time, and around this time, you're going to have a lot of unusual dreams with Neptune and with Saturn energy, okay? Now, uh, in the uh, immediate future, you got the Ten of Wands. You've been carrying a lot on your shoulders, okay? You've been carrying a lot. There's been a lot of obstacles in a situation in your life. And you're very, very, very tired, okay? You're very tired. But the Ten, <clears throat> sorry, the Ten becomes a One, where something is going to be lifted off your shoulders. And what's hidden from you is the Eight of Swords. Some of you are feeling stuck. You're overthinking or over analyzing a situation and feeling stuck in a situation here. You know, you want to go, you want to be free, you want to do so much things here, but there's definitely someone here that's a lot in their thoughts. They need time out. They need to clear their energy, okay? Uh, or there's some type of healing that's taking place. You are releasing the past with the Six of Cups reversed. You're releasing nostalgic memories of the past or situations of the past that took place that was very difficult for you, Leo. 
and in the over, uh, in the possible future you got the seven of swords now leo or it's you that trying to get away with something or there's someone around you that is uh trying to get away with something there could be some type of lies or deception we're going to look deeper into the reading as we go along okay so um i'm going to clarify the cards now Okay, let's look at the Three of Wands energy here in the overall. You got the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Swords reversed. So <clears throat> there is a relationship here for some of you. This could be a soulmate relationship. It's been difficult. You've been forging ahead, okay? But I feel that there's this, whoever this person or situation is, is coming towards you, okay? You you feel it, you, you sense it, okay? Uh, this is about your manifestations coming true. And uh, with the Four of Swords reverse, someone here is coming out of a timeout or healing, okay? Someone here that took timeout here. Uh, maybe they're still blocking the, situ the, the situation at hand. Not that they're blocking it, blocking it, but sometimes they are they could be blocking it but it's also they're forging ahead it's been difficult okay but there is a new emotions taking place here okay this is being contented being happy here okay and some type of manifestation coming true for you now let's look in the recent past you've got the page of cups reversed you got the two of cups the moon and the magician whatever it is you're overcoming this okay yes there could be a child involved for some of you that's not emotionally well at this time or very moody or this is you you're feeling very moody you're feeling all over the place with your emotions your inner child is healing here there's a time of healing but what I'm being shown here is that even with the Neptune energy and Pisces because there's Pisces energy here twice you got the two cups, the moon, and the magician. Definitely here, you've been manifesting this, okay? Two people coming in together. The moon could also be in the Neptune energy. It could mean the shadow side. Maybe someone here is having a lot of fears. It could be difficult moments, going through a passage, can't see what's in front of them, feeling that there's deception or illusions. But the moon energy on a positive note it's about bring the moon goddess is giving you what you want because i do see three positive cards here okay now let's look at this uh, four swords you got the four pentacles so you got number four 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 six of wands reversed and the ace of pentacles with the devil saturn energy 100 percent Saturn has been a big play, or you've been dealing with a Capricorn, but whatever the case here, there's a breakthrough, okay? There was something that someone here felt defeated, something that didn't, didn't uh, that was not successful in the recent past. Someone here that's really holding back. They're holding back how they truly feel, or they're hanging on to someone here. But there has been a break, a time to heal, a time out here. And uh, what I am seeing is that there is a breakthrough from whatever this is, fears, difficult moments, addictions, could be, could be about anything here, uh, even the thought process, how you think or feel about things. There's a breakthrough with the Capricorn energy in Saturn. And with the Ace of Pentacles here, there's some type of gift, money, or something that's coming in for you, okay? So it's a, there's some type of stability. It could be a relationship here. Now, let's look at the, uh, what Spirit wants you to focus on. You got you got the Devil card twice, which is Capricorn energy, and you got the Moon card twice, which is too many cards here. Okay, too many cards. <laughs> the whole deck wants to come out. Okay, so let's look at this again. We look at the Devil reverse and what Spirit wants you to focus on here. There's a releasing here that's being taken place. Okay. Freedom from whatever it is that kept you stuck.
Okay, let's look at this together. There's like, there's also acceptance because the moment you accept something, whether it that you had fault in it a bit of it, or the other person had fault, whatever the situation is, someone accepts what took place. That's when the transformation takes place, and there has been a huge transformation here because with the Ace of Cups, there's abundance coming in for you. This talks about abundance. This is what the divine wants to tell you. Source wants to tell you that you, you there's a freedom from the Capricorn energy or from the Saturn energy, okay? From lessons being learned and acceptance that took place. And what's being shown to me is that you're moving forward, Cancerian energy and Sagittarius energy. You're taking control. You're reclaiming your power without ego. And you're moving forward with ambition, determination, and willpower. Even though maybe sometimes you feel that you're being dragged into different places, you're still going to take reins of your life. And you're going to continue in that way. I see here with the King of Cups energy, this could be you or someone else here. There could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces around you. It doesn't have to be. This is someone that's emotionally stable, is able to give love. Is, it has a lot, They have a lot of wisdom. And I see that everybody's collaborating here together. It's a strong foundation here. And you have many options or many dreams and possibilities here. And you keep dreaming about them. You keep thinking about them, maybe fantasizing about them. And yes, these dreams could come true with the Seven of Cups. But also remember to stay grounded, okay? Not to get lost in them. Now, in the current energy, you got the Page of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. The Five of Pentacles reverse and the Five of Wands upright and the Knight of Wands, the Swords. Okay. So definitely here, there's also what I feel here that someone here had to go through a releasing. Maybe it could be about money or business, not having enough. Someone lost a lot. Could be feeling abandoned, feeling left out, ghosted or in the dark. But when the Five of Pentacles is reversed, it's good because you're coming full circle understanding what took place. And that means that there's some type of gain that's coming towards you. Something is coming in for you. Okay, there is new ways of thinking, new doors are opening, new portals are opening here, a lot of communication, okay, different type of communication, and with the Page of Pentacles, could be an offer on the table, okay, an offer is on the table here, there's definitely an offer coming in, and, uh, you know, and the thing is that in the current energy, there may be a lot of uh, fighting or drama around you, misunderstandings uh sometimes that's the ego okay but i see that you are raising your frequency and vibration here and going uh away from this type of energy you will be receiving an unexpected message coming in okay that will bring you clarity now let's look at the knight of wands in the current energy i feel at this time leo for some of you you're feeling restless you got the Queen of Swords. The Ace of Swords reversed. The Nine of Pentacles. There's definitely someone that's very independent at this time. They're working on themselves. Okay. Uh, there's some type of action that's being taking place here in a situation. Okay. But with the Queen of Swords energy, someone here is very discerned. And they're thinking logically with their mind at this time, okay? They're thinking logically with their mind, okay? So there, there's someone here that, like, and some of you are working on your pentacles, so, you, so you're doing a lot of work on that. Uh, there is some type of action that's being taking place. Uh, the Ace of Swords reversed here. I'm seeing that someone here is not communicating with you at this time, or there's, like, someone here that is overthinking or overanalyzing, is not seeing things clearly at this time, okay? Because uh, there, someone here is really... Um, feeling restless I could feel or uh there could be someone feeling restless here and that are thinking very logically and being very discerned okay someone that's feeling very independent but at this time they're not seeing all the clarity that they need so um why is the moon card reversed here in your current energy you got the Taurus energy the queen of cups energy the five of swords the Eight of Wands and the Death Reversed. Someone here is resisting something. They're scared of change. They're scared. They have fears. Scorpio energy. So I do see uh, someone here that is uh, releasing fears. 
but they're still resisting the change that has to come in. Okay, I do see new opportunities taking place with the Taurus energy. This is having the Midas touch. So there is some type of new opportunities, maybe financially for you, that are taking place. There's a lot of messages coming in. Very passionate messages. There is someone here that's emotionally available. I got the King and Queen of Cups. These two people do love each other. Someone that's very nurturing, very loving energy. But then you have the Five of Swords. So uh, you need to watch your back, Leo. Okay? You need to watch your back. Um, I don't feel that like this is like, the, you know, maybe is it the way that you're thinking about the situation, maybe? That you're thinking negative about the situation? Or are you resisting the changes that are coming in for you? Or is it vice versa? Let's see, because I'm going to take an extra card for this Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? For Okay, the Elephant reversed. Why is the five, five of Swords here for Leo? The King of Swords reversed. Okay. The Six of Swords. The World. The King of Wands reversed. Okay. I think that these are two different readings. Okay, so you have someone here that's resisting a change. But the change is positive. Whatever it is, someone here is resisting. Because there's new opportunities. It's about having that minus touch. It's about, you know, someone that's very motherly, very caring, very nurturing energy. Uh, a lot of messages coming in, but someone here is still resisting. Okay. But what I'm being shown in the other end here is uh, there's something about learn. Okay, some of you, Leo, doesn't have to be all of you, but some of you have a hard time or are having a hard time learning the lesson around the situation. There's a lesson here that keeps playing round and round. Okay, it's like a never ending story. Uh, this is what Spirit is saying. And it's like, um, it's about, you know, it's about learning the lesson. There's definitely someone here, whether it's your your way you're thinking or they're thinking, okay, it could be that it's only thoughts that someone is thinking negative or thinking that people are out to get them and thinking that people, or it could be that there is people around you that do not have your highest good, that are, there's lies and deception around you, okay? Uh, there's someone here with the King of Swords reverse that's very angry, is not seeing things clearly at this time. Maybe there's no communication. But I do see also with the King of Wands reversed here, a lot of repressed emotions here. Repressed emotions, not able to speak, not able to say what you need to say. But I do see that someone here is going through a process, leaving some, a place where it's been very difficult or a situation and going to more a calmer place. <clears throat> I also see someone relocating or moving. And with the World card, something is coming into completion. There's an ending and a new beginning taking place here. Okay. <clears throat> so let's look at the Ten of Wands in the, the current energy. Not current, sorry. Immediate future. Again, you got the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. You got the Knight of Wands twice. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius Leo or Aries. It doesn't have to be. The Knight of Cups reversed and the Tower. Definitely, there's something coming in. There's Pluto coming in here to uh, change the situation here. Okay? Um, the Tower card is coming in to clear the air. Because you've been, whatever this, this is, it's been very difficult. Okay? It's been obstacle over obstacle over obstacle. I see with the Knight of Cups reversed here, someone here needs to healing. They need to heal their heart. Someone here is not able to give love or not being emotionally available. But there is some type of action that's taking place. Are you going to be moving away from this type of energy, Leo? Is that what they're trying to say? Or this person or the situation? Let's look at the Eight of Swords and what's hidden from you. You've got the Three of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. 
the sun reversed. The Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups. There is definitely here with the Seven of Swords twice in the reading that there is some someone that's maybe withholding information from you, Leo. Or they're being they're they're trying to get away with something. It could be lies or deception in this situation. Whatever it is here, someone's feeling stuck and someone's heartbroken in what's hidden from you. Where this is you or them. Uh, there's a heartbreak here, grief, sorrow. They're feeling stuck. Uh, there's been a lot of disappointments. A lot of disappointments. False hope. But I do see a child here, okay, with the Page of Cups or an emotional experience here that could take place. But again, with the Seven of Swords, I don't know. Someone's trying to get away with something here. Or they're not being honest here. And with the Seven of Pentacles, someone here is reevaluating everything. Maybe how far they come. It could be in the business, in the in relationship, whatever it is sibling uh kid your children and it's a it's some of so, someone here is going to be is going to be a crossroads in their life okay so there is going to be a crossroads let's look at the six of cups reversed you got the full reversed the hermit virgo energy And the Eight of Pentacles reversed. There's someone here definitely that released energy from their past. Someone here that probably was working on something has removed their energy and is not working on a particular situation any longer. With the Fool reversed, it talks about someone not taking that leap of faith at this time. But with the Hermit, someone here is taking still time out. They're following their own path. They're meditating. Probably they're reflecting, reassessing everything. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. There's a lot of fears with this person. But there's also a breakthrough. It all depends what they decide. Because remember, everybody has free will, right? So let's look at the Seven of Swords energy. We've got Temperance, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles reversed, and the Two of Swords. There's definitely something off balance here in a situation. Maybe what you're giving, you're not receiving. Whether it's love or business. Okay, patience is needed. Sagittarius energy. Patience is needed here. Something needs to be moderated. Communication is the key. Someone here is not someone here is withholding information, maybe not speaking about something. And I do see someone walking away. Okay, they're in their thoughts and in their emotions. With the two of swords, someone here is definitely indecisive. And underneath the deck is the Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. There was a choice that was made. There is definitely someone unstable here. There's something karmic that at the hand. But underneath the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles. There is someone coming towards you very slowly. They're, they're watching you from a distance almost. But they're taking their time to come in. They're reflecting. They're making plans in their mind, maybe on paper. And they're coming in slowly. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. They're still releasing. Yeah. They're still releasing. And they need to surrender. But there's still a lot. And this could take up to. Uh, it could come up to. Uh, for some of you. Uh, it could be in October of 2021. Okay. So October of 2021. That something might uh, come in. That you're going to get the truth or the balance. Especially if the. If you haven't uh, spoken to this person or seen this person in a long time, whoever this person is for you. Now we're going to look at the signs that came out into your reading. You've got Cancer. you got Capricorn. So I'm going to take this card for Capricorn. you got Pisces. Virgo.
Sagittarius. Taurus. Scorpio. I know I'm missing one. Hold on a second. I'm going to redo it again. <clears throat> I got Pisces already. Okay. I just want to make sure that I got all the signs. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so Leo, in your reading, for your bonus, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the signs showed up in your reading. And these are the ones I'm going to do in the bonus round. But now we're going to look uh, together at uh, your... Um, in your crystals to see what crystals you need for this week. like about these cards leo is that i could read you the healing properties of it and that's i find that cool and it's also going to show me whether the chakras are is needing at this time to be healed so the first one you got is ruby ruby and uh, this is opaque red transparent when polished the healing properties it energizes and can be overly stimulating it encourages passion for life and leadership it enables motivation toward realistic goals. It aids in dreams and visualizations. It brings lasting wealth and abundance and promotes a positive, clear, and sharp mind. And this uh, ruby is uh, used for the chakra for the heart and the root. So it opens and balances the heart chakra. It encourages sexual activity and stamina, promotes ambition, motivation, and enthusiasm, aids in dealing with anger and resentment, ruby. The next one you got is rhodochrosite, rhodochrosite. And this, the appearance is opaque and banded in pink, red, or orange. The healing properties of this is benefits love, compassion, and relationships. It attracts soulmate and important people, encourages the truth, and dispels denial. It brings up and releases repressed feelings, promotes self-worth and releases stress, enhances creativity and a positive attitude. And the chakra that this helps with is the heart and the solar plexus. So it aids, aids in healing sexual abuse. It uncovers blocked feelings and pain and encourages emotional release and supports and helps those who feel unloved. Wodokrosite. And the next one you got is Trisoprase. And the appearance is green or yellow, opaque and often flected. Healing. It encourages personal talents and creativity. It en uh, enables deeper states of meditation. Brings commitment in all relationships. It overcomes obsessive and impulsive uh, actions. And it promotes acceptant acceptance of yourself and others. Aids compassion and forgiveness. Christ, so praise. And this uh, chakra is for the heart, solar plexus. So this it energizes the chakras. It opens the heart to greater love and it connects with divine energy. And the chakra that needs to be healed for all of you is the fourth chakra, which is the heart. So green and pink are the stones. And the uh, in the physical, it governs the arms, the chest, the heart, the lungs, and the thymus. In the emotional, it governs love, heartbreak, grief, pain, self-love, unconditional love, acceptance, and compassion. And in the symptoms, it's fearful, unworthy, unemotional, relationship issues, 
emotionally volatile and heart issues. So the heart chakra is definitely being healed there or needs of healing. So you got Ruby, Rhodochrosite, Shisoprase. Underneath the video, there's two there's two uh, links uh, that you could see at the bottom. You want you have a coupon that you could get a percentage off and one with the percentage of 10, 11% off. This is a small, small based uh, family businesses that these are my soul tribe family. And if you want to check it out and, and help them, there's two links underneath the video. Okay, so next we're going to do is the sacred geometry. Let's see what else is going on here for you. got two cards so I'm gonna take the book out here and we're gonna look at it together so first the one you got is a frequency card which is number 27 so you go on YouTube and you put uh, the frequency 528 this is about transformation and miracles and uh, one of the affirmations here, miracles are, are a part of my life on a daily basis, bringing with it optimum love and good health. Miracles are a part of my life on a daily basis, bringing it with it optimum love and good health. If this card has shown up for you today, prepare for some miracles and transformation to come into your life. It is said to bring you about remarkable and extraordinary changes. The love frequency resonates at the heart of everything by connecting your heart with your spiritual essence. It is also a divine frequency that can help you in times of illness or after an accident as it helps to return damaged DNA to its original state. Okay, the practical application of this card is if we work with this frequency on a daily basis by sounding the word M-I, and listening to the tones available to us, we can bring about profound changes at the DNA level and fill our body and soul with the purest of love, which will eventually spill out from us and execute a radiance most of us have never experienced before. Love is definitely the answer to many of our world's, world's problems. It is also a vibration that can transform our mind, body, and soul to a more optimal health. And... Uh, if you need to when you work with this you work with the color yellow and yellow and green heart when using this frequency and you could also use uh, rose quartz okay rose quartz heart heart chakra the next one you got is genesis pattern planting the seed number 11. so let's look at this together your affirmation is Today, I manifest new beginnings and a fresh start in my life. Today, I manifest new beginnings and a fresh start in my life. When this card appears, something has been planted is now in its infancy stage. Are you planning a move, starting a business, or changing a business structure? Perhaps you're starting a new job or a new relationship, or you're trying to conceive a baby. It is time of new beginnings and fresh starts. And over here, whatever you are planning... Now is the time to start. Pull all your attentions into whatever it is you are wanting to birth. Go deep into your heart. Visualization, visualize what it is you want to create and bring it to fruition. Have trust and faith that you are working within the parameters of what the universe has in store for you. And the crystals that you will need to use for this is citron. Citron. Okay. Perfect. So these are your cards. I'm going to put this back here. Okay. And now we're going to take out one more card before we get into the bonus of what the star seed family, what your family wants to tell you, your star seed family. Okay. You got a few cards in. 
So you got the first one is surrender to the sweetness. Surrender to the sweetness. And what this mean? It means this is Venus energy. It's about pleasure, joy, and make love to life. So make love to life. Beautiful. And the next one is the cosmic heart. Again, with the heart chakra. And it says here, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. Make your life a moving prayer. Leo, perfect. Now, let's get into your reading. Okay, let's look at this. We're going to go with the signs. Now, this could be about a friend, a co-worker. It could be about uh, a daughter, a son. It could be about business. It could be about your soulmate, your twin soulmate, your better half, your husband, wife, whoever. Okay, so just remember, take what resonates with you. If it resonates with you, then good. If it does not resonate with you, then it's not meant for you. Okay, Leo, just remember that. I just want to make that clear because a lot of people say, well, sometimes it, it resonates and sometimes, well, when it doesn't, it means it's not made for you to let it go. Okay, and you take what resonates with you. This could be about you altogether, your whole chart as well. Okay, so now if you're dealing with a cancer, Leo, if you're dealing with a cancer, If you're dealing with a cancer from your past, Leo, here, there is heartbreak in the situation. I feel there's sorrow or grief. And there's a lot of repressed emotions at this time. Okay, someone here is really like having a repressed emotion. There, there's someone that's clearing something here. There's, they're clearing the resentment, the hurt. They're coming full circle here uh, in healing their heart chakra. And there could be some type of closure or a reconciliation with a cancer. Okay, Leo, one more card on this. Yes, and you will be getting an unexpected message. Or it's Leo that's giving an unexpected ma message to Cancer. Or Cancer will be doing this to you. But there's gonna come. There's an unexpected uh, message coming in. Okay, and uh, let me just take one more card for this. Yeah, there's going to be positive news around the situation. They've been putting a lot of energy in this situation, okay? Um, and I see that the, they might be discerned or thinking logically about it, but there's some type of action that's taking place, and um, it, it, someone here has been working on themselves. Now, if you're dealing with a uh, Capricorn, Leo... Okay, what happened here? Heart drop. I see someone here, if you're dealing with a Capricorn at this time, they're going through something here, okay? They're not able to communicate uh, too well. Uh, maybe they're angry. There's a lot of resentment. Uh, they're also someone that's coming out of their ego energy. I feel there's someone here coming out of their ego. Okay, but they're not in their element at this time if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Maybe they're not communicating too well uh, here in a situation. Uh, there's a lot of karma that they have to deal with. Uh, at the same time, there's been a lot of rejections around the situation. There's been uh, uh, rejection, but there's some type of acceptance, something, some type of karma that's releasing here with a the Capricorn. They're, they're releasing. This is what I'm seeing. They're releasing. Even though at this time they might be angry and have repressed emotions, but they're humbling themselves. Uh, because the past for them, whoever this person was, is that uh, there was a lot of lies and deception here and people not having their back. And they're they're moving forward now. Whatever may, they made plans with, whoever the person was, whatever the situation, I see that they're going to make plans because there is some type of forgiveness and compassion that's coming in with the Capricorn. But also abundance is coming in with this Capricorn. Okay? Now, if you're dealing with a Pisces, Leo, I see that there's someone here that's not emotionally available at this time. They're going through, 
they're probably like very moody or they're not they're not able to give love at this time they're not able to be there though uh, there's a lot of messages coming in very passionate you need to trust your intuition on this one okay if you're dealing with a virgo leo the sun is shining on this if you're dealing with a virgo this is abundance coming in and they've been thinking about you very much okay they've been worried i see a commitment here with a virgo if you're dealing with a sagittarius leo they're holding back they're holding back they're trying to release the past they're holding back how they truly feel in a situation. There has been a lot of interferences, people or places or situations here. Uh, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're releasing a lot of nostalgic memories, but there's a lot of confusion for them at this time. They're, there's, they have too many things on their mind or they're trying to, um, they have so many goals here and dreams, but there's a lot of confusion in this, maybe many options. Uh, there is a wish fulfillment here for them. But there's a lot of resistance. There could be an ending here, but they're they're resisting an ending of something in their life, whatever this is. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Leo, something magical is going to take place with this Taurus. This is about whatever you've been manifesting with this Taurus is coming in for you. Your ships are coming in. This is something magical. It's whatever that you've been wishing upon. It's very, it's, it's, it's very strong here, okay? It's about having hope and faith in the situation. Um, like, it's like you're just waiting for them to come in, okay? So it, it is uh, definitely, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, you're ready for them. You're emotionally ready for them, okay? You're emotionally available for them. Um, it's just that at this time, you may not feel this with the Taurus because they are, uh, at this time, something is off balance in their life, could be. Uh, someone here is dealing with a lot of fears. They're going through very difficult moments, okay? So at this time, maybe it's not, but I would say about three days, three weeks, or three months from now. Okay, something is coming into balance. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Leo, someone here is feeling left out or they maybe someone here lost a lot of money or they felt abandoned okay something did not come into fruition okay they feel like they don't have enough um this is about a lesson that had to be there's a lesson that's coming in here there's a lesson that is being taught to somebody it is an, there, there is going to be a new emotional experience that take place and something someone here is dropping something or someone to focus on one thing and i see like an ending a new beginning it's like coming full circle with a scorpio okay so this is your reading now we're going to take out the heart to heart okay heart to heart and soul to soul if this has to do with a relationship or with a loved one uh, not even a loved one, but like more of a, it has to do with a relationship or someone that you haven't seen in a long time. Uh, sometimes people have a hard time being vulnerable, uh, Leo, you know, like really opening their heart uh, because uh, they're scared that, uh, you know, that someone is going to reject what they tell them. So I'm going to show you, okay, um, in what, well, I'm going to tell you in heart to heart, soul to soul, what are they telling you, Okay. What they really want to tell you heart to heart, soul to soul. If this is about someone that you miss, someone from your past, could be a twin, a twin soulmate, could be a soulmate, uh, it could be a friend that you haven't seen in a long time, that there's a lot of uh, love there. Okay, so if you're dealing uh, with a cancer, Leo, cancer, what does the cancer want to tell you? They have good intentions. I just want to go back in time. And uh, you will always be my secret love. Okay. One more card. There we go. I don't care what other what I don't care what people think anymore. Just one more card here. I regret how I handled things before. This is if uh, you're dealing with a cancer. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, what does a Capricorn want to tell heart to heart, soul to soul, to Leo? 
they're fantasizing about you. They're feeling stuck. Okay, uh, the changes are real. They're feeling distant. They're feeling secretive at this time. There's a secret here. And uh, their karmic story is ending. If you're dealing with a Pisces, heart to heart, soul to soul, what is this Pisces telling you? My nerves get the best of me. There's re repressing energy here. I just need more time. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Leo, heart to heart, soul to soul. I am overcoming my fears. You deserve more. I want to I want to be vulnerable with you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo, heart to heart, soul to soul, what are they saying to you? That you're you're you are twin flames. But right now they're feeling triggered. They're, but they're honest. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Leo, heart to heart, soul to soul, you changed my whole direction. I'm ready for more than just text. I'm still moved by you. I can't stop thinking about you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Leo, heart to heart, soul to soul, what are you saying? What are they saying? Okay. Rock hard. It's hard for me to explain things. Controlling. Someone here is controlling. I've been having weird dreams about us. Be patient with me, please. Okay, so these are your all signs. And now we're going to take out one more card from the universe. Now, if there's someone in the comments uh, or some of you out there that could put like the timestamp of, let's say, uh, the singing bowl, the channel messages, the oracle cards, uh, numerology, um, maybe you could put that. Um, if you could put also like uh, the reading, um, then you could put like, uh, you know, the, the, the crystals uh, and then uh, the oracle cards you could put say and then you could say again. Uh, then uh, the bonus round, and then uh, the, what the universe wants to tell you. If someone could uh, do me that as a favor, that would be really great. I would love that. Okay. Uh, if uh, if you have time, if you don't, it's fine. But if you could, have, if you have the time to do it, it, I would I would really appreciate that. Okay, Leo. So let's see here. guidance so you got guidance Leo it says here when you make divine intelligence your foundation you finally have a fixed start to follow you're being guided so Leo I hope you enjoyed your reading don't forget to comment like and share know that I have your back and that I love you all remember all this will pass and remember love always wins and love has won please take care and I'll see you next week and again a big happy birthday to all of you Bye-bye.